Saturday, the 4th of September, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Proper 17. Stay with us, Lord, for evening draws on and the day is almost over. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Savior, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths. In the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever.
Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life. To the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins, and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 42 and 43. Psalms 42 and 43. As the day longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God. With a voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the peak of Mitzah among the heights of Hermon. One deep calls to another in the noise of your cataracts. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night season, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me and say to me, where now is your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43 Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness. And on the harp, I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is at the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of God, written in the book of Job, chapter 22, verses 1 to 4, 
and 21, ending at chapter 23, verse 7. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered, Can a mortal be of use to God? Can even the wisest be of service to him? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty if you are righteous? Or is it gain to him if you make your ways blameless? Is it for your piety that he reproves you and enters into judgment with you? Agree with God and be at peace. In this way, good will come to you. Receive instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. If you remove unrighteousness from your tents, if you treat gold like dust and gold of Ophir like the stones of the torrent bed, and if the Almighty is your gold and your precious silver, then you will delight yourself in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. You will pray to Him, and He will hear you, and you will pay your vows. You will decide on a matter, and it will be established for you, and light will shine on your ways. When others are humiliated, you say it is pride for he saves the humble. He will deliver even those who are guilty. They will escape because of the cleanness of your hands. Then Job answered, Today also my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his dwelling. I would lay my case before him, and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn what he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he contend with me in the greatness of his power? No, but he would give heed to me. There an upright person could reason with him, and I should be acquitted forever by my judge. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the word of the Lord written in the Gospel according to John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 18. Very truly I tell you, if anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, 
but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Proper 17. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us a true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and bring forth in us 
the fruit of good works. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Collector for Saturdays O God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for the nation. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of your country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. At this time, we also pray for the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.